Touchdown yeah. confirmed. Yeah. Perseverance yeah. safely on the surface of Mars. Mission accomplished, at least for now. After a grueling seven-month journey over more than 470 million kilometers, NASA's Perseverance rover is now on the Red Planet. Within seconds of its arrival, Perseverance began transmitting the clearest images yet of the surface of Mars. NASA has made this journey four times before, but this mission is the most ambitious. Perseverance landed in what's known as the Jezero Crater, where three billion years ago, scientists believe it was home to a river delta. They say it may contain a treasure trove of fossilized microorganisms. If life were present on Mars, this is where it would be preserved and our best chance of being able to, to see life if it were there. The nuclear-powered rover is the biggest vehicle to ever land on Mars and will drill into the surface to collect rock samples. She will also test a system that aims to turn the carbon dioxide in Mars' atmosphere into breathable oxygen. And this is a really cool experiment that if we ever want to send uh, humans to Mars, uh, it would be great to be able to take advantage of the, the oxygen that's contained in the carbon dioxide as opposed to carrying it with us. Perseverance will also attempt to launch the first ever powered aircraft to be flown on another planet. A mini helicopter equipped with two cameras will try to make five flights lasting 90 seconds. If successful, it opens up a whole new dimension for exploring Mars. It's of course, trying to make significant progress in answering one of the questions that has been with us for many centuries. Namely, are we alone in the universe? Perseverance is expected to roam around Mars for the next two years. And to document every moment, she has her own Twitter account. Yasmin Al-Sabawi, TRT World.